Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's still me, Chakisha Sims of Her Lovely Plan. My voice is just not getting any better. Um, so the next few videos, this is what I'm gonna sound like. I really apologize. I really, really, really apologize. I feel fine. It's just the, I guess the aftermath about when you have sinus infections and all of that stuff, it caused your voice to go last. Um, but nevertheless, I'm going to push through and I'm going to go ahead and talk through this video as well. Through voiceover is, you know, I'm not going to talk through the whole video. Because I'm not a, uh, one thing about me, while I'm planning, I'm not a talker because I am so focused. And if I would talk through the whole plan with me, y'all would have to literally probably take a day off from work to get through it. <laughs> so, it's best that I do voiceover. So, enough chatting because I do want to preserve my voice for the rest of the video but if you want to see how I set up my standard size travelers notebook for the week of January 28th through February the 3rd yes I said it February um, stick around but first I do want to show you what I will be using in my spread first okay so this week I am dedicated to trying to use stickers that I have had for over a year and as I stated in my B6 plan with me I have a lot of kits that I purchased um, really probably around this time last year so this again is another kit from it's just paper co and I've used some of the stuff so like as you can see some of the deco stickers have been used here and I did have three at the top but I cut the page off and one of the quarter box stickers have been used but for the most part, I have a lot of stickers. I have um, date cover still left. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this as the foundation of my spread. Now more than likely, she does not have these kits on her shop any longer. Um, I did check after I posted the last video and I didn't see them. However, she does still have some really, really cute kits. And then to bring out this blue, I am gonna use this denim ish kind of color from Simply Gilded with the rose gold um, bows. And I'll probably use my new rose gold date covers, date dots, actually. Yeah, I'll probably use them. They match pretty well. Look at that reflection. And these are from um, Sticker Bloom. And I did do a um, Happy Mail haul video that I'll be posting maybe the later part of this week. And then lastly, I, you know, I never get too far away from my doll stickers. I'm going to add this cute doll sticker somewhere on this spread. And this is from Shop Le Cinq Oats. And it's simply shoplca.com. And I do have a discount code. You get 20% off your purchase of $10 or more if you use 20 Her Lovely All Caps. And that will be in my description box, the link. Um, to this shop as well. So let's get straight into planning for this week. Okay, so these date covers were a little bit peculiar. Um, they didn't come pre-cut um, and I'm not sure if it was like this because it was designed to go with a different type of layout um, but easy fix they peeled off really easily because of the white out and I used these super cute date covers from simply me quiche now I realized this after I post my b6 video um, of course these kits that I'm using um, were from last year and I went to her shop just to see if she still had any and she didn't have these kits now I do want to warn you if you do go to her shop the prices are a little steep 
um, and that is not the prices that I paid so by any means I don't want y'all to think that I got coins and I'm out here buying $27 kits because <laughs> the devil is a lie <laughs> really like I bought these like I said last year um, and I included a link because I knew someone would have asked me to include the link she does have some mini kits and that's a tip that I want to leave you with um, is when you are buying kits go for the mini kits because most of the full kits are kind of pricey you are looking at $20 or more typically um, but with your mini kits you can typically find them anywhere from seven to maybe $15 and that's pretty much all that you need so check out the mini kits So using kits are designed to make planning simple. It simplifies the having to think about where to lay what sticker um, based on the size. However, when you are using kits in layouts that are not designed for that particular size, you do have to become a little more creative and figure out ways to use them. Um, so it can still be functional as well as decorative um, so this kit again as stated I really don't know if it was supposed to be for Erin Condren or Happy Planner classic in which I'm probably betting it was because when I originally bought them I had a Erin Condren as well as a classic size but nevertheless um, if you just take your time and be a little creative you can definitely um, make it work for you um, and as you can see, I'm just adding some deco and I also added on those little blue um, headers, some cute rose gold bow covers from Scribble Prince Co. And that was just to add a little bit of va 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 boom to those um, stickers because they were looking a little drab with that blue because um, it's like a matte blue. But I'm having fun um, being a little bit creative with this kit. Um, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. So now what I'm doing is just kind of trying to fill up some of this white space. Um, because again, I am a decorative as well as a functional planner. But if I don't need a lot of white space, I try to fill it with as much stickers as possible. But I try to avoid it um, from looking really junky or overdone. Um, so I try to strategically place certain stickers um, just to kind of add some balance. And you know I had to get this doll sticker in there from Shop LCA. Um, so now just adding some finishing touches, um, some icon stickers, I'm going to add some washi from Simply Gilded to go ahead and get this spread finished. So I really enjoyed setting this um, insert up for the week and I hope you guys did too.
Okay, you guys, so I am finished my spread in my standard size weekly insert for the week of January 28th through February, Sunday, February the 3rd. Um, and as you can see, I went ham, eggs, and bacon on the deco this week. Um, and because, like I said, I really want to use my stickers. I want to fill up as much white space as possible on the weeks that I know that I'm not going to have a lot of stuff to write down. Um, and just kind of like prime example. So this was last week. Um, I didn't have a lot of stuff to do, um, but it still shows that I had some things that um, I was taking care of and pretty much um, you know it was a lot of white space but it was less deco um, so this week I just wanted to add a little bit more deco to this so just to kind of recap um, as you can see I used my um, date dots from uh, what was this shop sticker bloom and the date covers from that kit was a little interesting um, like I said I think that was probably for either like an Erin Condren or a um, classic size happy planner uh, when I ordered them it was way before I got into TN um, planning so I decided to get rid of those and I use these cute date cover stickers from Simply Me Quiche in which I need to order some more because these are so freaking cute. Look at these. I like that it has it in um, regular, uh, what do you call that? <laughs> regular print and then it has like the script style kind of abbreviation to it. Um, and then I use these rose gold um, header covers from Scribble Print Co. because they were looking a little plain so I was like let me add a little bit of sparkle to it and for the most part I made this kit work um, like I said I don't really know what size that kit was intentionally created for um, nevertheless I am super happy of how this turned out and I did even get to put my little girl sticker here because she's holding, holding coffee and I mean this is a coffee spread so anyway so this is my spread for this week I hope you enjoy it um, I don't know what happened to my lights I am still struggling trying to find balance with my lighting um, so y'all continue to bear with me um, as I get better and better with my videos so if you like this video give me a big old thumbs up as well drop me a comment below and if you haven't already done so, shame on you. You just go and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> now go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you never miss a new video or my live streams on Sundays. And as well, check out the description box because I will add the links to these shops. As well, there are more links at the bottom um, of the description box going over a whole lot of different things. Um, that I like to use, what I use for filming, what's my fa favorite planner, essentials. So check those things out on my Amazon shop as well. So if this has inspired you to be more creative, make sure you share this with your planner friends so they can also be inspired to create their own lovely plan. So until next time, planner fam, peace. again for watching her lovely plan and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.